is I have my colleague, my friend. She is student of Zhejiang Science and Technology University, which is considered as the best university in this world. We will going to ask lots of questions from her, and uh, she will going to share her experience of study in China with us. So let's go. Hello, Sushana. How are you? Hi, Rupsana. I'm fine, and you? I'm I'm getting too good. So nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. After a long time. So can you introduce yourself for um, those students who are just right now watching you? Um, hello, everybody. I'm uh, Sushana Sukrajova, and my Chinese name is Sushana. And actually, I'm uh, doing my master's in uh, corporate management, uh, School of Economics and Management. Uh, my master's, which is a scholarship uh, funded uh, by the University of Church and Sci-Tech Technology. So, um, uh, yeah. That's amazing, you know. And, um, and then moreover, you know, we are talking about the Chinese government scholarship, which is known as the CSC scholarship. And yes. can you tell our viewers about actually what CSC stands for and what is CSC scholarship and how did you come up with the CSC scholarship by yourself? Actually, it has been it's recent in uh, since I am from Mauritius. It's been um, a recent uh, approach that um, it uh, started uh, in 2016 where we got our first batch of students uh, going to China for their studies, like for their scholarship. It was done through Confucius Institute uh, in Mauritius. So through Confucius Institute, is um, they've been uh, um, in partnership with the University of Mauritius. So through that, they, they teach Chinese to the student. And then the best, um, the one, the topper, the, the topper, or the one that are interested, provided they have a degree from that University of Mauritius. And then from that, they can apply either for a scholarship or for a master's or a PhD uh, at the Chejiang SciTech University. And based on that, uh, they are also, um, if you don't, you're not interested in the, that scholarship, there are also that summer camp uh, uh, approaches. You have summer camp, winter camp, that the exchange program where you can go to China and visit that university and have better knowledge about it. And after that, uh, for the CSC scholarship, is it is given to people to to the one that um, more related to the field of uh, like you did organic uh, chemical organic. Uh, and I, I'm from the yeah organic chemistry. I did the. Uh, I'm doing corporate management, which is very much in vogue there, and which are taught in English. To be, uh, you should, you should. Know, there's no need to have a level of Chinese for you to, to take that uh, course. But they are all, all the lecturers are, uh, they, they, they taught in English and very well. You can very well understand. Also, but the need is you have to have a uh, before graduating. You need to have. Uh, uh, the level three HSK level three uh, for 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 you to be able to graduate, and uh, um, and that's it. And the masters is it's take. Uh, let me show you the in some information about the masters. You can have a better okay. idea. Um, okay. So can you see my screen now? Yes, I can see this channel. So this is the Confucius Institute scholarship. So for a bachelor, yes. bachelor, master degree, it's for a bachelor degree you can have, you can apply, which will, you know, um, the duration will be four years. And for a master's, it's around two or two point five years, depending on your on your uh, subject that you're actually doing. And then you have the tuition accommodation uh, room. I will show you in my um, uh, later later on in my. Uh, slides and then uh, the cost that you get a stipend each month you got a stipend mm -hmm. for each yes. for a bachelor that we converted to RMB is going to be 2500 RMB for uh, undergraduate uh, program and for a uh, master program is going to be for your stipend each month is going to be like 3000 um, RMB and for your PhD it's going to be like 3500 RMB per month for your stipend. 
So for that scholarship and the age criteria, it should be like you should be 18 plus for uh, undergraduate, like 20, not um, more than 25 years. And for your master's, you should not be lesser than 35. You should be uh, lesser than 35 years. These are the criteria. And for your PhD, it's going to be uh, not lesser than 40 years for you to be able to do your PhD. This is the age criteria. And then um, this is uh, this. And for more information, if you want to know about the Chinese scholarship information, you can go to the website of the, the university for the president for the president scholarship. Uh, and it applies for the CSC scholarship as well. Well, if you can go to that admission that the stu.edu.cn or for that you you want to or if you don't want to have any academic um, information no um, academic uh, subject or you want to learn china and you want to have a um, and teach china later on in your for in your country then you can go to this scholarship council on the campus or you will get various of uh, opportunities various of uh, subject teaching, art and everything uh, that offered scholarship, these university offer scholarship, which is really beneficial for us. And then, um, as I was telling you about the university that uh, we are from, uh, Roxana and I, yes, yes. we are from Chertang SciTech University. And this is the university, actually, what it looks like. This is during summer, at night, the, the winter and uh, spring. So this is beautiful how it university. is. Very beautiful, very big. You might get lost if you don't have a map. You might get lost, but very, very, very beautiful, very well, you know, uh, surrounded. And um, this is this is how an international student student dormitory look like where you have like double room, like sharing, you should be sharing, where you got your fridge, you got your, uh, you have your personal uh, bathroom and uh, toilet as well. The only thing that is common is the kitchen, where you have the kitchen, this is the common kitchen, on each floor of the, of the dormitory you have a common kitchen, so where you can cook if you don't want to eat the food that you have at the canteen. We have free canteen, big canteen, massive canteen, and the canteen is uh, is uh, is uh, the the food is affordable for student because you have when you have the student cart, you can uh, afford this. So they are really cheap. They are really cheap but delicious food, with it, which is affordable and within your budget. And also this is we are in the we we are found the the Chertang SciTech University is found in Hangzhou, and in Hangzhou these are the. Um, the beauties that you can have, the, the place of interest that you will want to visit. You have the city centre, you have Westlake, which is very famous. And from our uni university or from our dormitory, you can see the Westlake where you can go and visit. You have the, um, the replica of the Paris, Paris to Eiffel and the Grand Theatre where you can go with like for your leisure activities. And this is the school neighboring. As you can see, this is the Westlake and everything. The park. There's a park where you can go, when you can go. You know, there's lots of activities for you to enjoy while you're being at the university, while you being there on the campus as a student, where you can make more the most use of it. Where you can go shopping. This is the mall. You got the bigger mall. You got the old uh, traditional uh, mall as well, where you can go. You can have more traditional medicine. Everything that you want is a uh, very um, accessible so make sure you, you you should be happy when you go there you won't lack anything because everything is available be it is food your spice and everything is available and also you also have um, exchange program like i told you before the cultural trips and activities where you get to visit another province you know, you go to other village, you mingle with people of the other province, and then you prepare, you know, uh, jiaozi, which is uh, um, famous in in China, and then you go to the theater, you go to you you uh, you go to the Songcheng theme park where you get a really like, you know animated uh, show, Silk Museum, which is famous in in Hangzhou. So these, and then the safari, famous uh, Hangzhou safari. So you, these are cultural and leisure activities that you will benefit from by being in Tanjo. 
And also these are, like I told you, organized their autumn first semester. You have Chinese classes, you have group work with Chinese students, you have marketing project promoting. This is, we, we did a marketing project that was promoting Mauritian tea, but you in your country for Pakistan, for example, you got lots of other things to promote. So these are, they, they did a um, um, marketing project. We did a massive project where you can showcase the beauty of your country where you can showcase the beauty of Pakistan, for example, you the, where you belong, your culture, you can share it with everybody from uh, other uh, other international students, so they get to know more about your country. So these are the, the activities that are organized there. And also, uh, why is it so great to study in China? And why we did, we as a student, we choose to study, we choose to take up that scholarship in China, because it is, it is once, we have lots of facilities such as it is cheap and it is safe. China is the safest country that you can travel and everything is uh, made easy with the technology such as, such as Alipay, WeChat Pay. And then you can have the bike sharing anytime you don't want, even in the, in, in the campus, on the campus, you don't want to walk that much. You can just rent a bike and then you go, you just rent a bag, you pay it through WeChat or Alipay. These are the apps that are compulsory for you on your mobile when you go on in China, so that you, you, you don't use, we don't use, they, they are turning into a cashless society that they don't use money. You won't see um, uh, yes. notes, yes. Uh, bank notes, you won't see coins. Instead, you have to pay, everything is, is done for your mobile, through Alipay, WeChat. And they really, they rarely, rarely uh, use cart as well. Uh, but, um, and this is it. So also, why study in China? Then you have uh, your food. You can order your food. They, they, they come at your doorstep if you don't want to go to to a restaurant. You see, everything is made easy. Even if you want to buy some clothes, there's uh, AliExpress. You know, Alibaba is found there in Hangzhou itself. And you have Taobao, which is one of the cheapest uh, clothing um, website where you can buy and you get it within the day. If you are in China and you want to order a, a dress, you don't have to wait for one week or two weeks. You get it within hours or one day, the latest. And it is, you got unlimited uh, connection everywhere you want. You just need to pay a package, which is really cheap for a student. Even as a student, we get uh, very, we are really advantageous in the way when you have the student card, you get very, you get a discount everywhere you go, which is an advantage being a student in China. And also you have a budget which is affordable. The living expenses is affordable because you got a stipend where you can you can save the money. You can have a savings as well. You can spend it on food. You can spend it on shop, shopping. You can spend it, you know, even if one and you can still save that money because the stipend that we get every month every month is um, is fair enough for us to to survive the month and to live in china because it is it is in, within the budget so you have delicious food without forgetting you have lots of various varieties of food even they are halal and they they they, there are some restaurants that they already mentioned food that, you know, uh, they are safe, for, that safe for Muslims to eat, which is very yes, important. Yeah. Yes. So, and these, they make sure you have lots of restaurants where like your McDonald, KFC and KFC and everything that you want is, is mm -hmm. really good to have. And then you have the latest technology. You have the fastest train there, the fastest, uh, um, Training in uh, Shanghai, like we take you like like two hours to reach in uh, in another pro another city, you know. So and then it's not it's it it's not that um, cheap, but you can afford to travel if you don't want to go by bus or you if you don't want to take a plane, which is much more, more much more costly. You can take a metro, you can take the train, which is the fastest and. These are the facilities. So I guess the, um, these are a, a little bit brief about the the how about studying in China and the, about the scholarship. Okay, thank you, Sushana. You have shared wonderful information, and uh, you made us visit of uh, University Science and Technology University of China. 
and yes. uh, now we will go in towards the uh, you know what are the requirements what are the documents that we need to have while we are applying for uh, chinese government scholarship so at this time of applying what documents we should need to have can you say uh, about these questions like i told okay. you i will i will take it from my example because why when i applied when i applied for my masters it was compulsory that i had a degree uh, a degree from the university of mauritius because they are in partnership with uh, confucius so for me it was important to have a degree from the university of mauritius so it, to be able to grant uh, to get access to that university because they are in partnership. And then they have all the related documents such as your higher school certificates, your um, from the college, from the school that you belong from. And uh, they will ask you if you have a level of Chinese, even if it's the basic one, you just you just mention it. And uh, also um, they will ask you for your medical certificate as well, which is important. If, uh, which is compulsory as well and your passport your everything and once it's done it's been done for um uh, they they shortlisted you like they they check out your your documents which are in terms and which are in in uh, regulation you know which support the regulation rules and regulation of the university and then if then they, they, the decision is made you want to they, they proceed and then they send you a mail they send you an email to tell you that whether you're selected or not. And from okay, there. That sounds great. Mm -hmm. That sounds good, you know. Uh, at last, I would love to ask you a question about, you know, uh, for those students who want to uh, have an aim in their life or who want to achieve their, uh, their dreams, you know, just for their destiny, want to success, get in their destiny. So, uh, yeah, having said that failures are the part of our life, you know, it's not completely normal. I do fail, you do fail, and uh, everyone does fail in their life. And uh, despite that, you know, what you want to tell them that uh, you need to be believe on yourself. See, everyone, no, nobody's life is perfect. As you know, everybody's came across some uh, obstacles and everything. But youngsters, if you are having that opportunities, you know, you don't have to pay anything. You don't have to take any money from your pocket for that scholarship. You just need to apply. You just need to focus and then you are on the right track. You see, and if you want to make your dreams come true and if you want to succeed in life, there should be focus and consistency in life. You see, so that's why it is important for youngsters nowadays to to um, focus and to concentrate on what they really want and to achieve their dreams, to have some aims and aspiration. And uh, I guess for CSC scholarship, my part of my dreams are being achieved because I'm focusing on the masters, which if I had to pay, there would be a lot of money, but I'm getting it as an opportunity. I'm using this. I got a golden opportunity and that scholarship is a golden opportunity for me to take to, to climb up the ladder, you know, to yes. be more successful, to be uh, have a, a good career, to have a settled career in life. So these are this scholarship is kind of a ladder for youngsters and for us to make use of it. So this is it, for example. Yeah, just like for you as well. It's a it's a it's a way. It's a way to get out of our comfort zone and work for what we want for a better future. Yes, that's great, you know. Thank you so much. It was a nice conversation with you. Thank you so much for your voice. Thank you so much for your time and uh, thank you so much for your information. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you, Roxana.